the episode story. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else we need to do left. Look when his friends struggle to save the timeline. Loma rushes to where Goku and Vegeta and Trunks were, were exhausted. Oh, okay, it's just the ending. I see it. I thought it was like an actual... Like I said, we're gonna go back and do like the Oh that was the that was the ending, okay. So we didn't did all the Gokus already. So that's over with. At least for now. I guess we'll go to... You know what? I'm actually interested in... Let's just do them in order. We'll do Vegeta's now. Let's go already! Losing Goku on Earth, Vegeta makes his way to planet Namek and hopes to using their Dragon Balls to become immortal. However, Vegeta is followed by Kui, who has been ordered to Freeza to kill him, and not long before Kui makes his presence known. Vegeta's fighting experience on Earth has raised his power level beyond that of Kui. Kui pretend pretends to offer an alliance to Vegeta, but in reality, he's trying to get Vegeta to lower his guard. For you, that was a pretty dismal move. No, no, it can't be! If there were any brains in that head of yours, you'd have realized my speed has increased as well. Which means, unfortunately for you, that little ruse only succeeded in pissing me off. Yeah. 
If what I heard over the Scouter is to be believed, all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish. I only need to find one to prevent Frieza from being able to use them. Those Earthling Stooges will find the other six for me. Then I'll take them all. Once I get that wish, not only will I be granted eternal life, but no one, not even Frieza himself, will be able to stand in my way. I'll be uncontested, utterly invincible. I, Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans, will rule the universe! Vegeta searches for the Dragon Balls. He locates Dodora, who, whom he then challenges and swiftly defeats. Based on Dodora's words, Vegeta suspects that they're humans on planet Namek. Though he tries to track them down, he ultimately isn't able to find them. Abandoning his search, he departs for Nameki for Namekian village to obtain a Dragon Ball. After attacking the Namekian village and obtaining the four-star Dragon Ball, Vegeta hides it underwater and goes in search of the remaining Dragon Balls. Vegeta appears before Zarbon, who is also on the hunt for the Dragon Balls, and he informs him that he has defeated Dodora and that he will be next. Vegeta, you cur. Why would you dare defy Frieza? Isn't it obvious? I hate the bastard, always have. And now that there's a chance not to just seize eternal life, but to wrench free of his control at the same time. Well, the real question is, why in my right mind wouldn't I turn against him? Starting to get the picture, pretty boy? You're seeking to use the Dragon Balls for yourself. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on them. And once I'm given immortality, Frieza is as good as dead. This joke of an empire is finished. Certainly even someone as thick as you knows it'll take more than immortality to conquer Frieza. Enough talk. You've never had a real taste of sane power. So here, eat up. Mm. <laughs> Bravo, Vegeta. Your progress intrigues me. Enough so that I feel it's only courtesy to show you the full extent of my own power. Something I've let lay dormant for many years. Such a sense of humor. You might as well know before you breathe your last breath. There's a very good reason I keep my full powers hidden. You see, exploiting them calls for a drastic transformation. Quite a distasteful one, in fact. Hideous. Naturally, I'm somewhat reluctant to sacrifice my looks. But when my hand has been forced, what choice is there? <laughs> I'm waiting. Eager, aren't we? Very well. Don't say you weren't war. <laughs> For all that pride your people had about becoming hulking monkeys, you were blissfully unaware of my transformation. Well, before I end your life, I'll tell you a little secret that's an even bigger shocker than that. Lord Vegeta is unable to defeat the Transformers Zarbon and takes the first opportunity to escape. 
He also steals the Dragon Balls Frieza has gathered before chasing after Krillin to take the final Dragon Ball from him. Vegeta is soon found by Zarbon, who had been following him. The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Don't underestimate us! But after coming back from the verge of death, Vegeta's power level had risen enough to win. When he senses the dangerous Ginyu force approaching, Vegeta offers to cooperate with Krillin to prevent Freezer from using the Dragon Balls, but before they can use them, the Ginyu force catch up to them and seize the Dragon Balls. After catching Guldo off guard and managing to beat him, there are only four of the elite forces left. Vegeta shivers in anticipation of the battle. I mean, this is when we face Captain Okey Ginyu. Okie Vegeta. I hope you're ready, because now you're going to get it. We are... The Ginyu Force! Big Doom! I'm far from done! Hi! I'm sorry, but nobody that size should be moving there gracefully. The kid gloves are off now, buddy boy. Oh, damn, let's try that again. Sorry about this. I got a message on my phone. There we go. I didn't know they had a quick time. enough to get him out of there. Raccoon overwhelms Vegeta with the strength, leaving Vegeta to come. But at that moment, Goku arrives on Planet Namek, joins in, and together they easily defeat Raccoon. Vegeta and the others use the Senzu beans brought by Goku to raise themselves for the fight against the Ginyu Force. Vegeta leaves the battlefield and begins looking for the Dragon Ball stolen by Captain Ginyu. But now that Vegeta notices Gohan and the others have used the Dragon Radar to find the Dragon Balls first, he intends to summon Purunga, deal with his two enemies, then have his wish. 
Then Captain Ginyu, who has switched bodies with Goku, arrives with Jace to attack Gohan and Krillin. Hey! Eyes up! You're dealing with me now! Don't kid yourself! What makes you think you can take me now, Vegeta? Obviously, you didn't because read the Saiyan handbook. Back, I'm getting closer and closer to becoming a Super Saiyan. Oh, come off it with your fairy tales! After defeating Jace, Vegeta closes in on Captain Ginyu. Captain Ginyu attempts to switch bodies with Vegeta, but Goku dies between the two fighters, reclaiming his own body. The wounded Goku begins to recover his strength in preparation for fighting Frieza, while Vegeta takes the opportunity to rest. However, Gohan and the others take advantage of the lull to summon Purunga. But suddenly, P Guru dies, Purunga disappears, and the Dragon Balls are turned to stone. Now Frieza, who has been traveling toward Purunga Column of Light, makes an appearance. I really must hand it to you. In all my years, I've never been so angry as I am now. Now you'll pay! You vile, pill-sucking maggots will rue the day you cross my path! Prepare yourselves to embrace oblivion! Go on, then. Do your worst. But if you think this is going to be easy, then you're dead wrong! You haven't a clue. I'm becoming a thing you fear most, the legendary Super Saiyan! <laughs> Do you really expect me to take such desperate boasts at face value? I've heard enough of your pathetic lies! <laughs> Frieza said enough is enough. After withstanding Frieza's attacks, Vegeta taunts him and telling him to transform. Frieza responds, but the difference in their power is too great. It is now that Piccolo appears. He is fused with Namekian Nail and obtain more power. Piccolo and Frieza are locked in dead heat, but Frieza still has two more transformations up his sleeve. Frieza has transformed once again, and Piccolo and Gohan stand to fight him. However, says he will let them bear witness to one last transformation. While Frieza is transforming, Vegeta attempts to use the Saiyan's special ability to become back from the brink of death even stronger. At Vegeta's order, Kr Krillin lands a life-threatening blow on him now leaving his fate to Dende the Namekian with healing powers. Dende refuses to heal Vegeta, citing that all the Namekians he's killed. Gohan, however, begs Dende and leaves him no choice. Get ready. And so Vegeta rises from the brink of death once more to face Frieza, who has fully shown himself. You little wretch! Consider yourself lucky I didn't incinerate you! Uh, 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 uh. The rest of you stay back! Just keep your eyes peeled and enjoy the show! Someone's full of confidence. You poor fool. The helplessness of your situation has made you delusional. I doubt you'll be so smug once you realize what you're up against. What stands before you now is the thing you fear most. I am a Super Saiyan. There won't be a shred of you left when Kakarot wakes up. I think I'll toy with you a bit. Now perish along with this planet! Ah! 
Wow, it did not let me dash at all. That's, this is some bullshit because it didn't it, it didn't give me none of my. I, I know I'm not the only one that that's dealing with this nonsense. there is what pisses me off because I'm, I'm doing the I'm stopping the charge back at him but it's like it's not Sorry to dash all your hopes and dreams, Vegeta. But for all your efforts, you never even came close to being on my level. You aren't gonna wanna hold anything back, Frieza. Not against this one. You see, he is what you fear more than anything else in the universe. <laughs> he says that so much, bro. It's like he's crying wolf. <laughs> You're dealing with the real Super Saiyan. He's like, shut up. Oh, Vegeta, you forget. I don't enjoy jokes, and you've never been very funny. You murderer! He could... Gagarin, I need you to know what happened to planet Vegeta, where we were born. It's gone. Not because it collided with the giant meteor. It, it was Frieza who did it. We served him blindly for years, and he disposed of our entire race, wiped us from existence. I'm, I'm begging you, please, beat him. For me, for the pride of our race, you must defeat him, please. He must die by a Saiyan's hand. Alright, now we're going to the android cell. Alright. 